This video is about a very serious, a rare disease, but a very serious disease, which is normally missed. So, to keep it simple, if you have problems with your liver, your heart, your memory, maybe some psychological issues, which are not necessarily caused by uh, life events or trauma, and many other signs, which uh, it's, a, it's a vast, vast, vast list of symptoms. So when you are suffering from a constellation of a heart condition, of a liver condition, of a brain condition, which shows itself as either neurologic, or psychiatric, then you should get checked for a mutation, a homozygous mutation, that is a total mutation, of the HFE gene 63D. Okay, again, it's the HFE gene H63D. It's one of the genes that controls iron transport and iron metabolism inside your body. Long thought to be not that problematic, even when you have a double mutation, so a, a homozygous mutation from both sides, from both your parents. As soon as it's homozygous, so that the entire gene is affected, oh, there are lots of symptoms. And in rare instances, it can cause classic hemochromatosis. Just look up the word. It's not that important for this message. But because it's only in rare instances, it was not in the focus of research that much. However, it can cause, and it does cause, in about 10% of the carriers of the homozygous mutation of the H63D gene, the so-called H63D syndrome, also but rarely called Oslo syndrome, named after the Norwegian city of Oslo. But it's far better when you do your own research on Google and stuff and that you look after h 63 3D syndrome. So what is it all about? It is about a dysfunction which affects about 10% of the homozygous carriers of the H63D gene. And uh, when it's mutated, then your transferrin saturation, okay, the word is complicated, and memorize it. Maybe you want to take a screenshot. So it's the transferrin saturation and when the transferrin saturation is over about 50 55 percent in men and 45 to 50 percent in women something happens your body doesn't like that <laughs> and an entity will develop which is called non-transferrin bound iron another complicated word you can see it here written, yes, non-transferrin bound iron. The acronym is NTBI, NTBI. So iron of the type NTBI. And that means it's more or less pure iron, which moves straightforwardly once taken up by your body in the small intestine. It will find its place in your liver, in your heart, in your brain, uh, in your spleen, and many other organs. And it can cause havoc there. It's a sort of a toxic buildup inside your body. There are still too many doctors who confuse that with hemochromatosis, but it is by far not even closely related, by far not. It is more like the iron sibling of Wilson's disease. 
Okay, maybe you want to make uh, another note for this to remember. It is the iron sibling of Wilson's disease. So very similar to Wilson's disease, which is caused by copper. So H63D syndrome is caused by iron. The symptoms are slightly different, but the organs affected and the clinical problems, so the symptoms all across your body, including, and that is very specific for H63D syndrome, um, there will be microinflammations. And microinflammations of that type that cannot be caught that easily by normal blood tests, even by the more sophisticated ones. You can only detect the microinflammatory activity caused by NTBI iron, so by the H63D syndrome, with very fancy and very almost outlandish uh, tests. But the specialists know. Uh, you can write it down and uh, it should be now shown on the screen. Okay. But the most important thing is, as soon as you suffer from that constellation of a heart issue, liver issue. Like you, let's say you're skinny, your BMI is just 20, 21, you, you're not, not big and you eat healthy, but you still have a fatty liver, for example. And you have some weird symptoms with your heart and you might have some psychological or psychiatric problems or there might be something wrong with your spleen or with your male and female organs or endocrinologic organs like, uh, like the adrenal gland. So if you have always too much adrenaline in your system or you are troubled by an unsteady production of cortisol, of endogenous production of cortisol, that means inside yourself and you're running from doctor to doctor and nobody really knows what's wrong with you, then please have your entire iron metabolism checked. You can uh, write it down or make a screenshot. It should be now shown in the screen. So these should be tested. And especially if transferrin saturation should be higher than 45%, 50% in women or 50, 55% in men, then you should definitely get tested all your HFE genes. These are normally three. And of the most importance in, in this context is HFE gene H63D. Okay. So what if you're positive for a homozygous uh, mutation. If it's heterozygous, no problem, then you're healthy and your problems have another cause. But if you should have these symptoms and the test should be positive for a homozygous mutation of your HFE gene H63D, then it is time to contact the H63 research consortium group and ask them for advice because there's only three or four dozen specialists around the world. And normally they help you for free because it's a rare disease, but it's not as rare as many people think. There are lots of people out there who are suffering from it and have no idea what they have. And so the experts in that field, they are very helpful. They are very helpful and they're normally not after money or something like that. They can provide you with the name of experts, physicians, scientists near you, wherever you live. I think it's a very important message because a lot of people out there do suffer from age 63, the syndrome. And you need treatment because H63D syndrome can kill you. It's potentially lethal.
not on the short term, but on the long run. So it has to be caught as early as possible. And such a test is not expensive and it can save your life. And if your doctors don't know H63D syndrome, tell them to Google. <laughs> there is enough stuff out there to be read. And do not hesitate to contact the support groups or especially the international experts that deal with this very dangerous and not curable, but treatable disease. And what you need is treatment as early as possible in life. Then you can expect to have a normal lifespan. The later the diagnosis is made, and should there be already organ damage of some kind, then, well, you might be in some severe trouble, but then symptom management and a slowing down of the, of the process can still be initiated. So young people, middle-aged people, and even the elderly, whoever is now thinking, oh my God, that could be what, I, what I've been suffering from all these years and nobody had, had an idea what it is. All of you should contact uh, this H63 team. They will give you advice for free. There is no pharmaceutical company behind it. There is no big money behind it. I don't know if there's money at all behind it. These are all people who have jobs. They are physicians, researchers, scientists, biologists, medical doctors, whatever, whoever um, is important in this field. And they do that to help, to help and not to make money. And it would be a wise idea to get in touch with them. If you're still anxious, you can even contact these experts without disclosing your identity. Just use the contact form and give yourself another name or something like that. So, but of course, some, some random email address because they have to get back to you in one way or the other, of course. But do not just forget what I told you now. Maybe, maybe this information can save your health, maybe your life. I wish you to be healthy, to stay healthy and send you many, many greetings from Belgium. Have a good day and stay safe. And please take this message seriously.